what's up everybody it's your boy chip back at you from rva vapes and as promised this week we've got a review of the freemax mesh pro tank and all the mesh coils so we got the comparison of mesh coils in this video as well So today everybody we're talking about the Freemax Mesh Pro and this is the newest tank from our friends at Freemax. This one holds 5 mils but it also comes with a bubble glass that allows you to have a 6 milliliter capacity. And you can see the packaging is very nice. You've got your instruction manual right here. And then you've got your tank. Here's your 6 mil bubble glass right here and then it comes with the dual mesh coil and the single mesh coil. The dual mesh is the one that's pre-installed. So, we're going to break this guy open. Now, this one is a little bit bigger than the FireLuke mesh. That's why they're calling it the Mesh Pro. Um, everything I've been able to find on it, the tank itself is the same size as the original uh, FireLuke Pro, but it comes preloaded with these mesh coils. The other thing that's cool is that these mesh coils are backwards compatible with the original FireLuke and the FireLuke Pro. So you can use these coils in three different tanks, which is super cool. Um, you can see they've adjusted the airflow a little bit. And the bottom down there is a little bit different, uh, a little bit more restricted for flavor. You've got your 510 that's supposedly adjustable, but I've played with that a little bit, and it's kind of a false adjustment, but it protrudes fine nonetheless. And then you've got your top cap with your 810 drip tip. Now, the other new feature is if you look for that red dot, it actually slides open to fill, so that's really cool. You know we're huge fans of the slide top. And then you slide it closed like that. But the star of this is really the coil inside it, and that's what I want to talk about today. So we've been talking about this for a while, and we're going to go ahead and throw our mesh coil comparison into this video, because it's quite pertinent with what we're looking at right now. So the first thing you may notice is the wicking is a little bit odd comparatively. So you can see the wicking holes are only half covered and then fully covered and if you look at that where the coils right here and right here those are only halfway covered so you're getting juice straight into those little channels right there which is a really smart design this is also the first dual and triple mesh coils that have been available on the market so that's one of the reasons we decided to do our coil comparison today so that's what your coils look like with the dual but one of the things that I want to show you that's really interesting is the different types of mesh that are out there so that you can see what the difference is really up close and personal so the first one we're going to look at is the Vaporesso mesh and this is probably for the baby beast style the best performing coil um, so we're going to pull this guy apart so you can really see what's going on inside. So you can see there's still a good amount of cotton down inside there. Flax paper type of situation going on. So you've got one, two, three, four different layers of cotton in here. One, two, three, four different layers of cotton. And there's even still, if you look down in there, another layer that's sandwiched in between these metal shrouds right here so that guy doesn't want to come out but you can clearly see down in there it's got your other layer of cotton so you've got one two three four five layers of cotton and then here's your actual mesh coil so when we unwind this so you can see it's exactly what you expect it to look like a bunch of little holes and square shapes all throughout the coil itself and this is what we've come to think of as a traditional or first gen uh, mesh coil right here. Got your two leads and then the mesh material itself. The second type of mesh coil that we're looking at is your strip coils, which uh, you're starting to see the net coils from Joytech. These strip coils, this one is for the TFV12 prints, as you can see there. And the biggest difference is the actual material itself. So, we're going to pull this guy apart. Now, this one's a brand new coil, so it should be a little bit easier to see what's going on with it. 
So you can see once again, this one has that layer of cotton that's kind of stuck in those channels right there. So you've got one, two, three, and four layers of cotton. Now the strip coil is really the interesting part about this tank because it's a slightly different design than your traditional mesh would be. So you can see your strip coil is a slightly different design than your traditional mesh would be. This one is more of a flat sheet with perfor perforations punched or drilled into it, which is kind of interesting because in theory, this would give you much better surface area, um, but I think that the wicking is a little bit challenging because of the fact that they're circular. So it's a little bit of a, a different idea, but you've got your positive and your negative there. And you can see how different the coil material actually is comparatively right there. Square, circle, mesh, strip. So the third type of mesh coil, Mesh Pro. Now, this one, when you look down inside there, has a completely new, different type of mesh coil. Look at that. You can clearly see that that mesh is completely different shaped. It's got almost like a, I don't know what you, like a hexagon or a pentagonal type of shape to the coil itself. Very interesting. And I believe that that shape is partially responsible for the amazing performance of this tank because you're able to get a little bit thicker wires or heating elements in there but I think it also helps pull the juice a little bit better and with this shape they're also able to keep the resistance a little bit higher which was the main thing I was wondering about when I was looking at the dual and the triple mesh coils that they're advertising. I was thinking to myself, how are they able to keep that so high resistance wise when they're doubling and tripling the amount of heating material that's going in there? And you can see right there. So this one is actually the highest resistance of all the coils we've looked at so far today, but it's a dual mesh coil. And I think that shape right there and the way that those that mesh is designed is really the main feature of it. All right, so now that you've got a good look at the different types of mesh coils, we've got we've got the Vaporesso mesh coils. We've even got some of the strip coils from Smoke Tech the, and Joy Tech are using in there. Now we're going to pull back and talk about what makes this one so different. Um, first of all, let's just go over the tank for a minute here. Um, with the bubble glass that you see, yeah, it's a six milliliter juice capacity. Uh, it is 25 millimeters across the deck, and then you've got 59.8, pretty much 60 millimeters tall. So it's not a small tank. It's got some size to it, but I like the juice capacity. That extra three mils or so from the original really makes a big difference. I went from filling my original Fire Luke tank you know, three to five times a day, depending on how much I'm vaping, to fill in this bad boy maybe two or three times a day. So that's a huge, huge, huge improvement in my opinion. The other thing that's really cool, you see the little red dot right there? Bam, they hit it with the slide top. You know I love me some slide top action. So that's really cool. Um, you saw all the goodies that the tank comes with. Um, and it's even got a little burpee hole, which is a, a really smart addition. When you slide the top open inside the drip tip part there, there's a little burp hole. Um, pretty small, but that keeps it from getting the vacuum back up like some of the smoke tech tanks are known to have. So, very smart thinking, Freemax. I like where your head's at. That's good stuff. Um, 810 drip tip, just like we know. Uh, it is kind of convexed a little bit, so the drip tip at the base is exactly the same size as the chimney so I like the attention to detail there um, now it says they have an adjustable positive pin it is adjustable but there's nothing to kind of hold it once you adjust it so it protrudes enough in my opinion without adjusting it but if you have a really really deep 510 well on something um, 
you could potentially use that. I like the, the addition of it, that they're thinking about that, but not the best design I've seen as far as that goes. That's pretty much the tank, as it were. Um, but let's talk about these coils. You know, we, we showed you the, the mesh ones, that is. Um, we showed you the difference with the Vapor SO coils, and we showed you the strip coils that uh, Smoke Tech is making. Um, then we took a look at these coils. Now, these coils are completely different for a couple of different reasons. The first thing being it, they're the first ever dual and triple mesh coils. I've got the triple mesh in this guy, and it's the same resistance as the original Fire Luke mesh coil, 0.15. So how are they doing that with three coils versus one coil? What they did was they made that kind of honeycomb, hexagonal, uh, sextuple, whatever the hell shape. I don't know geometry that well, but they made it a honeycomb type of shape. So you've got less material there than your traditional mesh coil, but it's still more than a round wire coil. And the way they designed it, it allows the wicking to wick almost perfectly. I can't think of any point in time where I've gotten a dry hit out of this thing. Now the other thing that's really interesting about it is the way that they set up the wicking on these coils. Now I showed you in the up close that it's got, you know, this is the triple coil here. So you've got, you know, three wicking holes. But you see that one right there? You see how it's got that black spot where you can actually see the... Uh, the hole where there's cotton on the bottom half but not on the top half that's a really smart idea and allowing the the less resistance for that cotton being there the juice goes right into where the coil is so I think that really contributes to the reason that these aren't having any issues with dry hits or wicking or anything like that so I again the attention to detail evolution of the design of the mesh coil on this tank is astounding now I will tell you that because of the way that these guys are designed, uh, especially with the dual and the triple mesh coils, you definitely have to put more power to them. With the double mesh, I think probably 70 or 70, 75 is probably the sweet spot on that one. Um, but I've really been trying out the, the triple mesh mostly. And the first coil I got, I got almost three weeks out of it. And I was specifically running juice that I knew was bad on coils. So I don't see much of a coil life drop off from the original Fire Luke mesh coils to the new mesh pro coils. But the triples is what I've been running and I'm running this guy at 85 watts. It's rated from 80 to 110. Now I don't know that I would push it much past like 100, maybe 105, but I've found at 85 it performs phenomenally. I mean, look at all that vapor. But the thing that really blows my mind is the amount of flavor that comes off this. I thought the Fire Luke mesh tank was going to be the end all be all of flavor. The Mesh Pro kicks it up about tenfold. So you put a 10x multiplier on the flavor you got out of that one into this guy. And that's what you're ending up with. This is definitely the next evolution of vaping technology. I love the flavor on it. I love the attention to detail, I love the slide top, I love the bigger juice capacity. The acrylic colors, some people love them, some people don't. Um, I would venture to say they're probably going to come out with some standard colors, maybe even some carbon fibers like they did with the original Fire Luke mesh tank. All in all, I have to give this tank three thumbs up. This is the best tank I've ever hit in my entire life. Granted, you have to put more power to it than a traditional tank, but all in all, uh, the flavor on this thing is tremendous. The colors that they've got right now are just the acrylics, so we're gonna throw up those color options, right? Yeah. As always, with this review, uh, we're gonna throw your coupon code up across the bottom of the screen, and that will get you 10% off of your Freemax Mesh Pro tank at shop.rvavapes.com. Um, all in all, you know, I can't really find anything bad to say about this tank. It takes a little bit more wattage. Um, I have noticed that the airflow is a little bit larger, so you really have to push the wattage. That's why I wanted to try the triples, because they're a little bit smaller diameter coils, so I feel like it's a better air to vapor mixture than the duals. 
unless there's a huge difference there, I'll, I'll do a update to this review, but I think it's going to be fairly along those lines where the Dual is going to have a little more airflow, maybe more vapor, less flavor, but you know, the, the mesh coils in this tank are revolutionary. So if you don't like vaping at higher wattage, I would probably stick with the original Fireluke mesh um, or the Procore Duo, which we're going to talk about next week. Those, to me right now, neck and neck are the best for flavor. If you like a little bit warmer vape and you still want that same amount of flavor that you're getting out of either one of those guys, I would definitely uh, recommend the Mesh Pro from our friends at Freemax. So I don't got much else to talk about on this one. Um, you know, you can see... All of the great stuff we have on our website we just added 200 different brands of e-liquid so make sure you check those out just scroll down to the bottom of the screen there and look for all the online only deals um, those aren't available in store but you can order them on our website and we'll ship them directly to your house as always thank you for watching please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the little bell so you can get notifications for all of our new videos we got one every Saturday for you so make sure you check that out the only other thing that, that I've got for you is we're planning a party. So if you're local or you're traveling to Richmond in August for the NVE National Vapor Expo, make sure you keep it locked on our social media because we're going to be announcing in the next week or two the details on that party. But it's going to be really cool. Um, shout out to Mike and Chase at Giant Vapes for helping out with that party. More details to be announced soon. But as always... If you want to smoke, that's your business. If you don't, I'll add up.